I'll just say this really quick before you jump in. Nick said some very problematic stuff earlier. Yeah, we addressed that, that like with him. Um, yeah. Aside from that, things have been good in general. <laughs> All right, so y'all can hear the sound now. Who, okay, but no, I do need to know. Who grew up with the poop knife? Oh, it's just a Reddit story. That yeah, oh, yeah, it, was it, a wasn't, Reddit, it wasn't one of yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, okay. No poop, poop knives. Okay, it got relayed to me from Carson. Ah, uh, yes. Like, that is yes. horrible. There's a, a really good point came in from chat. If Dennis is tired, might I suggest a delicious sip of Hint Water? It'll oh, take him let, up. Me, let me get Can on you grab some Hint, please? Yes, Thank you. Our sponsor, Hint Water, has supplied us. Uh, we had to work through a... A distributor, I Walmart. Can, I can. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. And I this is what's this the watermelon. What's the what? The vintage. Oh, anyway. The vintage. Uh, we don't know. It's all surprise. <laughs> it's randomonium. Um, and yeah, that's. Uh, it is. You're not a gamer. Um, <laughs> drink it. Is it good? All right, time to go. Show the people. Show the people. What's the brand? What's the? It's a hint. Watermelon flavor. With just a hint of oh, watermelon. We just got 30 subs. Oh, channel. shit. Thank you, Keith. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you you, you might not have heard Thank the audio you. because we were so excited about the subs, but Dennis said it's great. <clears throat> he said hint water is great. And if you're watching, 30 subs. thank you. It's like a soda that you accidentally put too much ice in, and then all the ice melted. Um, we're losing the connection here. Just roll up. Okay, and let's start playing. So what? What? Wait, what name are you gonna pick? Why are you using all caps? You tell me. Play the game. Play the game. Ask me a question. Roll up. <laughs> Roll I'm up. I'm so sorry, y'all. Roll up. Yeah, right. I'm trying to speak like y'all. Dennis, can you give us a hint of what so it tastes? So loud. <laughs> what? You. <laughs> the chat asked if uh, you can give a hint of what it tastes like. Diluted soda. He's probably breaking up. He said it's great. Hint water overlords that are watching us. It's great. Um, what are you going to do for your... Really? I don't... It asked my name. <laughs> Am I lying? <laughs> no. Am I supposed... Was, was Roll wrong? up to the computer! I I'm am. so I sorry, see, everyone. You sleep slop. Am I supposed to read sleep this out Sleep slop? <laughs> this is going to be a long hour. <laughs> I think you um, just got to 90% done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you can narrate, because we can't hear we can't hear the audio. The, the people at home can, but if you could read it out loud. You sleep softly great. as the morning sun casts it's a warm glow through the window here. of your modest student apartment. Ooh, young again. I think that's one of the mountain chickens, too. Uh, let me move this so we can read it, too. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment for or you can wake up now, now, now! Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. There is a theme every time I play with y'all, it's something with cooking. Whether well, it's that the thing. Oh, that overcooked. Overcooked. Yeah. overcooked. Yeah. I still have PTSD. I want to give you an update from chat. Okay. Uh, hint projected sales have plummeted after Dennis gave his review. Hint water. The most disappointed you'll be today. Oh. <laughs> oh. Your mind <laughs> begins to wander. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. How, well, mu no. how much of a sponsor are they? Doesn't matter at this point, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously. I'm going to daydream a bit. I figured you did that based on how you're handling today so far. Yeah, keep going, keep going. I can't hear I can't hear the game. I'm Dennis. giving you what I'm being given. <laughs> <laughs> I get no hint water from you, sir. <laughs> it's here, finally. Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare. So many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities. When you realize you're running late, you grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. It's KFC bread. Just keep going. Sorry. Another one of our sponsors. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. That and some mediocre hint water. <laughs> Yikes. 
You're in such a hurry. In fact, I did not read that well. <laughs> You're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant, that sounds about right, before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Standing in the quad, this culinary school has a quad. You gaze up at the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Hold on, before you progress, how long have you known Miriam for? It didn't. You said for my longest time? Yeah. Two and a half years. Okay. Well, because I want. We don't got a bet. You don't know how old I am. You're in a university. You could be a three year old. Is this gonna, this is gonna go bad. <laughs> we'll edit this out. <laughs> I thought this was a live stream. Just keep going. Okay. Good morning, Dennis! Are you excited for the first day of the rest of your life? Oh, or our lives? I don't know why you did all caps, but... In my defense, it, I tried not to. <laughs> what did you do to try not to do, be all caps? Turn up caps Stop pressing shift. <laughs> you were pressing shift? To be, do the D. Do you know how keyboards work? <laughs> Do you? You're a, based on where you're sitting compared to that keyboard, I'm not confident you know how keyboards. Dennis, just go! I didn't just set this just up. Watching. Okay, Dennis. Actually, how many people are watching? We have 16 in right now. They don't mind. Actually, <laughs> I, <laughs> actually I'm. Because okay. I sure am. Except. Am I really having to read all this out loud? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay. And they can't nervous. see all of it. Who can't see all of it? Chat. chat. What do you is think is what? happening right now? <laughs> Who's chat? <laughs> is chat a is that someone's name? name? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much pressure. This is terrible. What's the? It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but what, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love for the food in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Uh, just update from chat again. Man, I remember the first time I used a computer. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Yes, you said keep that. Going, keep going. Ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued, I've known her for more than two and a half years. No, I know, that's okay. why I was trying to move on. <laughs> just giving you an update. Like, it said like, literally lifelong friend. <clears throat> the sentence before, keep going, keep going. This is good. And you rescued me from that quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Did we sign him up for a 30 minute shift? I don't know what you're doing. You're good. You're <laughs> good. I'm sure we'll get to the game eventually. <laughs> is this, this, is, this isn't Dennis, much of a game. Going, Dennis, going to the Dennis, University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three day only semester. <laughs> three day semesters. That's amazing. I'm cooking afraid of being schools are high. different, Dennis. You're never catching not the up. dean of a cooking school. I didn't. I didn't sign on for this treatment. Okay, sorry. They're leaving. I signed I on for it. Yeah. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm glad she tried the mannequin first. Otherwise, that might have been assault. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Pep talk her. Remember last month when we saw a fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Hmm. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. Oh, we talked about sleep paralysis earlier too. Did you really? Yeah. It's been a very interesting point. But it's been good. Yeah, it's been very interesting. I've had a handful of cases as an adult with sleep paralysis. It's very weird. Mm -hmm. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower, and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in a red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon, in no time, will be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. What is this game? As you talk Miriam like, up. Uh, I love you, Colonel Sanders. I think you're looking good dating thing. That was in my email. 
What am I supposed to be accomplishing? With, <laughs> well, with when you start the game, we'll talk about when it. When does the game start? This is, this Apparently in three hours. <laughs> As you... They better get to it. It's a three-day semester. <laughs> As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Yeah, they're good. Interesting writing. Can you believe I cut them myself? I can, Miriam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I cannot believe it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Uh-oh. <laughs> My spoons! Wonder who that is. Hey. It's Ashley, your arch rival. Apparently a vampire. She's totally. <laughs> Can they see my cursor? Uh, yeah, they should get it. Yeah. But she can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants. She knows it. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, Chicken Shin. What the? Whoa. Damn. You leave Dennis's shins alone. They were perfectly <laughs> normal shins. Ugh. You can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. <laughs> is there anybody in the chat named Ashley? It's not spelled like that for sure. <laughs> okay, good. Because, yeah, that's... <laughs> I love that. You know for a fact that it's actually... <laughs> <laughs> that's so great. That is genuinely so great. But she had, had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. I don't know if I like that I'm... <laughs> bullying somebody <laughs> If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. Uh, we're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. <laughs> no lie, disgusting. they're rocking glutes. <laughs> <clears throat> Van Van? You rang rang? Really? You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close to you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School, colon, Academy for Learning, would ever allow people like you to attend as students. Why did you say colon? <laughs> is that what you're supposed to do? Okay, just keep going, keep going, keep going. It's a really long name for a school. It is. And I've never seen a school yes. with Sea South. Sea South. That sounds cool. I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. We have to wait a couple days. <laughs> it's a three day semester. <laughs> Two weeks, you'll be done. Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the, resist the urge. Plus, I don't have deodorant on, so I probably don't want to get into too much of an <laughs> altercation. Let's go, Miriam. Uh. See you later, losers. As you, the vampires are a vampire. As you approach the, no the door, you see a goofy-looking kid push it hard against the window directly next to it. Did they fart? What was that? <laughs> Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you meant thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. Jesus. <laughs> but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Dennis. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. When does the game start? <laughs> this is the game. Oh, God. This is the game. For an hour and a half? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're not going to do this the entire time. Thank Probably God. just like an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I got here late. <laughs> is it just me, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you. I you both it's... shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. I wonder if it might be good to fast forward through some of this, so he has less of an idea of what's going on. But it's like, 
Well, uh, there's the, the thing up in the top, right? Oh. Should I? Yeah, to you. Let's try it. Oh. <laughs> you stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. So now you're talking inside. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. Is that better? Yeah, no, but I'm saying, like, oh, you're not talking about outside. my volume. Yeah, yeah, no, oh. no, no, no. no. <laughs> I thought you were telling me, like, inside voice. Why would I say that to anybody? Chad says that Dennis needs to work on his APMs. Actions per minute. I don't know what that means. Others. <laughs> yeah, another action. <laughs> Other students wander in and keep themselves busy <clears throat> chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Talk I don't get this genre. Uh, now, now, quiet down, everyone. <laughs> Says Sprinkles. Who's this unreasonably cute pup? And why is he in our culinary class? Uh, chat, while Dennis is going through this game really, really slowly, if you do know him and you have a suggestion of who you think, what what dog breed you think he would be, put it in chat for us. Keep going, keep going. They, they did I read can, it. I can go faster if I don't have to read it out loud. Why are you talking to me like that? Are you mad? Let's go, dude. Go, go, go. You must be Sprinkles, head instructor of the, and CEO of US... UCS colon AL. Why do you keep saying the colon? <laughs> Please call me Professor Dog. I'm, oh, can we hire one of those? Sprinkles. I may be cute and a little fluffy. And little and fluffy. I'm a little fluffy. But I still demand respect. Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor. This is the best school ever. I might be high. I guess only a dog's <laughs> nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Of sleep paralysis because this is all just a weird <laughs> dream. This guy's yeah, yeah, yeah. None of this is happening. <laughs> and soon the demon's gonna take your fingernails. <laughs> I told you that dream. Yeah, in <laughs> Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as the swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. This can't be re reality. Okay. I'm chilly. Someone closed the window. And then he walks in. Oh, here we go. Pretty dreamy. Yeah. Colonel Sanders. Hold on to your chicken buckets, everybody. Hey, Colonial Sanders. <laughs> so for those who know, for those who know, or probably none of the 16 on the chat. This is the <laughs> stupidest day of my professional career. <laughs> Carson would agree. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. We got two recommendations of what dogs you would be in the chat. Barb said you would be a Border Collie, and Kelvin said you would be a Labrador. Aww. I would take either of those gladly. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish the sentence. Please call me Colonel... <laughs> Maybe he served in the military, Dennis. I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> Maybe he did. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> ad break! Ad break! <laughs> Roll the ad break! That's how you know I the think... game is bad. He's drinking in water <laughs> to get away from the game. It is so freaking hot in this room. <laughs> Were you trying to fans up? Great Where's going. the remote for the other one? I don't know. I can. I just know where the keyboard is. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as oh, Colonel well. Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Great, so no deodorant, and I'm sweating? Yeah, this is a bad combo. I actually. Oh, <laughs> this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. I should. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a little faucet, faucet pits. <laughs> Chicken shins and faucet pits. Jesus. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. Oh, Miriam. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Besides, when Dennis sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Chad also said the dog you might be is Professor Dog. Okay. Keep it going. 
that's, we're doing you something with that screenshot. You turn to find. <laughs> Why do I have to click this? It's you have to turn. But it's not a choice. Anyway. Has can... any of this been a choice? <laughs> I've had other choices. There's always been two. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Like this. Stop! Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. It's on brand. That's good. <laughs> Please use my handkerchief. He frees up. Colonel Ooh. Sanders is talking to you! I think you got a chance, Dennis. I'd rather go home with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Except I do love chicken. Mm. Hold on. About how sweaty you look! You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? Ooh, this is good. Now hold on, hold on. Let's do a pro con. Okay. What are the pros and cons? I, I have no clue. So do you want to play like hard to get? Or like do you want to like Is the goal of this game for me to get with Colonel You're just that, you're living your you. life. That's you're living you. your that's life, man. You. Do you want to get with Colonel Sanders? You're like a deep fat fryer on the wind. They wouldn't do much if the fryer was on the wind. Getting caught up on the wrong stuff. This needs to be easy breezy. Do you take the handkerchief? Yes. Oh, he takes it. Oh, aggressive. I'm alright being taken care of. <laughs> you stretch out your hand, and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. Silk? Silk is not going to absorb sweat all that well. It will. It's no. bougie. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it, which I'm guessing is oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, from what chat said, his 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Drew, that was good, that was a good one. Was it, I think, I think KFC at one point, I don't know if this is true, I didn't fact check it, but KFC had a Twitter account. And it followed eleven people, and the it's a who it followed were the eleven herbs and spices. That is fantastic. That's That's that is great. fantastic. Calvin, thank you for the sub. We really appreciate it, Calvin. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face, but when you do, the feeling transcends it. Has a natural scent on it. it. Smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Okay. Well, Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, colon, Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace, the birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. So I'm thinking, if this is a dream, right, did I like roll over in my sleep into a bucket of chicken and that's why I'm smelling it in my dream? Right? That's kind of maybe. Imagine. Or maybe you just have sacks and stacks of empty KFC boxes in your room and it's an immersive experience. What research did this game do on me to know I, that? Yeah. <laughs> I sent him all the pictures of the program. Came, <laughs> and when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student in the classroom interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hey, guys. Sorry <laughs> I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Wait, is that you? Quiet! It said student. I wasn't sure. Late to class is bad enough interrupting my monologue. You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Third year of three day semesters? Doctor. Like it's doctor. It's 121st semester. Uh, somebody linked the thing that you're talking about. KFC follows 11 people. Those 11 people, five Spice Girls and six guys named Herb. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. That is incredible. Six guys named Herb. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. Thank clever. you for sharing that, Drew. That was fantastic. That was pretty clever. Everyone <laughs> stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Rest their dog, isn't it? It's a different side. Let that be a lesson. Must be a corgi. Must, uh, let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Uh, Tracy has told me that uh, corgis can be resource guarders, so maybe he's resource guarding uh, communication. There you go. I'll text her and find out. You should. I think I actually has she legitimately told you that they can be resource guarders? Corgis? All dogs can be. Right, but like, or do they do have the I don't listen to Tracy. Let's clip it a ship. <laughs> maybe Eugene should be playing this game. <laughs> Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. Oh, that, this is not going to be okay. You turn to see the student sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. What? 
The class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Do people pay money for this game? We did. <laughs> but I think this one might have been free. <laughs> okay. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what to pick it up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart is tough. But I didn't read that one at all. Being smart but tough is well known. You decide to butter him up by giving him treatment. Did you fall down the well? <laughs> As if it I just couldn't resist the hint. Okay, broke on, broke on, broke on. Okie dokie. You reach. I would imagine food is a plenty, so a rubber ball that is true. might be. That's smart. The that's more smart. unique gift. Yeah, that's that's smart. Smart. I'm not questioning you. You reach beneath your apron and return with a rubber ball in your hand. Now, why am I just carrying around a rubber ball? That's in case for this, yeah. It's because I was sleeping. You're prepared. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. You toss the ball and he bounds after it, grabbing it in his mouth and swinging it from side to side before dropping it. The thrill passes quickly. It is not clear if, if that endeared you to him or not. <laughs> Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Dennis, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. I like that oh. you're, making, you're making Colonel Sanders oh, no. vaguely European as well. <laughs> no one has claimed the, the seat best yeah, yeah. Would you like to sit in the seat next to me? This is a tough choice. The childhood best friend or potential flame? What is Ooh. the goal of this game? You're easy breezy, man. This is, this is your adventure. What, what, is, what is the goal of life, you know? What is air? I didn't see you eat more chicken. Ooh. You move to take your seat. Like Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. Oh my god, this guy's gonna cheat off me. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. I might be an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. Mm -hmm. A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. I don't. So, these are like my internal, model, yeah, my yeah. internal thoughts. Okay. Well, as narrative. soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor yeah. makes an announcement. Yeah. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Ooh. You have a lunch. Quizzes. Open the door. Yay! A quiz about me. <laughs> Shut up, Bob. <laughs> This incredibly important and surprisingly <laughs> short quiz just, yeah, just will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If a, train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands? <laughs> no, let's think this through. Okay. I want to make sure you're not being too hasty. It's a test. It's gonna affect you. Oh. You're good. <laughs> You're good. Dennis! That's right! Forest is to tree as chicken is to... <laughs> I don't want to answer these correctly. Oh, if you don't want to do something, just press that. He's just going to skip the whole game. <laughs> well, I, think it, I think it will jump the choices. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? There's an obviously right answer. <laughs> <laughs> I do think the sport... It's freaking genius. Yeah, it's so, a perfect utensil. Yes. What food is best for a broken heart? Camel meat. Camel meat? Oh, everyone knows that. <laughs> it's real chewy. That's how Maybe. I was raised. That's how I'm sure we were all raised. Camel meat. <laughs> That's really nice, though. What the hell? What? Uh, nothing, Camels are delicious. Yeah, why didn't you pick it? You did. No, you didn't. Oh. You didn't. Is Sprinkles a good boy? <laughs> He's the best boy. That's yeah, right. Nobody's really locked on the fact that there's a talking dog here. <laughs> They're just kind of okay with it. I still think we're asleep. That's well, we have to see how it goes Perfect from here. score. Did you cheat? Okay, shut up, girl. <laughs> 
Dude, whoa, that me. Wait, dude. <laughs> come. Do it, try it again, try it again. I think you have a beautiful brain. It might not let you skip Colonel Sanders because it's so important. Maybe just go to the next one for him. But then with other people, it might skip section. But I like the beautiful brain, considering how sweaty I am. That's hot diggity, Dennis. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. I think this is indoctrination. <laughs> I really want some KFC. I have another important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Let's go. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Did you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Yeah. Everyone, can I have your attention? Uh, a, a couple just updates from chat. Okay. Uh, Dennis is not doing this the best he can. Um, Who said that? It doesn't matter. I don't want you to target anybody. Uh, somebody else said, LMFAO, this game is so stupid. Uh, somebody else said, if Dennis thinks he's asleep, someone needs to spin a top. You could be getting incepted right now. That is a very good point. Uh, Barb said, zombies also think that you but have you a beautiful brain. you can't choose a spinning top, because it's already been chosen by someone. That documentary was, that was like the fabricated part of the documentary. What, Go on. The, Leonardo DiCaprio was an actor in that documentary. None of this matters right now. Um, and of course he's playing the KFC dating sim. Your Why of course? Keep going! Because of how you act sometimes. Why of course? Keep going! Is that a fat joke? I'm allowed to make fat jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand Homeboy's fingers. Like, on his right hand? Looks like he's poorly doing the Vulcan... What do you mean? Peace sign? It's <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> don't hate. Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch! She said... Shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smell! Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented. Were the rumors true? Is this? Ooh. Piled higher, huge pieces of chicken, bread, and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. <laughs> Colonel Sanders has filled a uh, bucket. Chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking and start eating! For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. But can, my... you can you make fried chicken? Do you have, like, like, at home, like in real life? Yeah. Okay. Is it like you follow a recipe, or you've, like, evolved it over time? Evolved well, like, it over time. I know that you can cook well, that's why I wasn't sure. Okay. That's curious. I don't make it often. It makes our house smell like fried, fried chicken. Food. Yeah. yeah. Okay. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. That's the brand, that's good, that's good. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes. It's lunch! Why are we taking notes? It's a school, Dennis. This is not it's rational! <laughs> but that's all I say about that. Oh, fan day. Uh, I wanted to update you on a few more things uh, from chat. Um, Cindy said, I want to be Colonel's three-piece combo. Uh, several people said, don't speak, stop, LMFAO, ha, 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 Cindy said, you can never silence me. Uh, and then she said, can Colonel Sanders cure my daddy issues? <clears throat> Back to you, keep going. Keep Are you sure we want Cindy in that chat? <laughs> <laughs> I remember reading some Discord messages that Cindy wrote a while back that were slightly concerning. Uh, I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is a uh, poison. Got him. Van Van Got him. He looks nervously, looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
so much work I could be getting done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you see. for your support. <laughs> Thank you for your support. <laughs> well, but to be fair, really quick before we get back to the game, even if you were doing work in your office, you wouldn't have that delicious taste of hint water. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew it that I almost started doing a, a Christopher Walken. <laughs> oh yeah, do voices. <laughs> uh, chat, what voices should Dennis do? I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. And your dad, he fried his chicken. <laughs> Walking. You see, <laughs> you see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants them all to herself. You have one request for a voice. Okay. You're not going to know what this means, Probably. but for the next slide, that is not just two words, the next sentence, can you please do what you think is an anime girl voice? For the love of esports. Dang. For the love of esports. That's pretty heavy. Anime girl. For the love of esports. So, what voice do you think an anime girl has? That sounds like a no win <laughs> proposition for me to try so. to it's imitate. Safe space. Okay. Is, is it? How many people are on the chat? 18. Sound. The numbers have gone up. It has gone up. You're, you're pushing numbers, buddy. Let's go. And then we have a couple afterwards that we're going to suggest. Go, 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 go! Mm. Oh, that, please! No, that, that doesn't good? count. That was, that was good. Count. That was good. I'm done, right? I said not a couple words. Okay. And then next, like, next explosion! Slide. Next. Is that anime? That's very I've anime. seen a commercial for Thund Thunderball. Wonder Ball Z. What is it? Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Ball Z. Wonder Ball Z. Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> so dumb. So this. Okay. Anime girl voice. Okay, I, I want to count you in. Can someone do what an anime voice No! Is? Do what you that? think an anime voice is. No, that was a, a, a disappointed employee voice. Was that what that was? Um, do for this sentence what you think an anime voice is. Three, two, one. Well, Van Van, the Van Van, if you don't want any. That was good. I think that was good. Yeah, that, that was good. That was good. Now for the so next funny. slide, okay. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next, there's gotta be a sentence. No, not two words again. So not that. Okay. Okay. Oh, Morgan Freeman is so hard to do. So the studio well, starts. Hold off. No, that's Go. not it. No. Shawshank Redemption. Hold on, I gotta get into. I gotta sound like God. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I can't do Morgan Freeman at all. Whoa, no, hold on. I mean, you're gonna get two. I guess I'll try. Did. Yeah, I mean that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be based on how you were acting. Okay. You'll get one pass and that's it. Okay. Next voice is Garfield. Oh, what does Garfield sound like? What you think Garfield sounds like. Perfect sense. Meow meow! Meow 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 meow! Meow meow meow! Lasagna. There you go. Not everybody in the chat speaks cat though. Nailed it. Just saying. Okay. Next slide. We're talking about President Garfield. Next slide. And from what chat said, this cannot be skipped. Impersonate Eugene. Mean words, easy now. <laughs> There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow class. I can't do it, Eugene. That's hurtful. Hope you're all happy. I'm here for you. <laughs> Thankfully, I'll cry off camera. <laughs> Goofy voice. Goofy voice next. <laughs> how many? <laughs> There's only one line of Goofy that I know how to do. We'll just do that it's line. A, then. Okay. How many cups of sugar does it take to get to the moon? From the Goofy movie? Uh, no? You don't? Know? Okay. Um, chat just said that was borderline racist. <laughs> <laughs> the go Goofy's probably a dog. Not, it's probably not the Goofy one they're talking about. What I said, okay, so mean words? words um, <laughs> this sounds like Athletic Garfield. Quit right now, Eugene. Uh, Frenchie's being weird. Uh, someone asked if they could take back their prime stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I feel like I missed one. Tracy. Oh, it's so hot in here. Impersonate my wife's voice. Next line. Go. Go. I'm Next married line. to him. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. Do you think she sounds like that? I don't... I don't... 
I don't do impersonations very well. Why didn't you say that at the beginning? I think I did. Oh. Okay. Well, um, we're gonna not have him do impersonations anymore, because uh, I don't know if I can pay for the therapy later enough. Um, but one more question before we get back to it from chat. Dennis, how would you rate Colonel Sanders from 1 to 10 in looks? This Colonel Sanders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Pretty good looking dude. I'm like an 8 or a 9. 8 or a 9. Okay. Okay. Uh, someone suggested you should have said 11. Like the amount of herbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, missed opportunity. Drew's That's killing good. it, dude. That's Drew, you good. are killing it, man. Okay. Tasting Colonel oh Sanders' God. food transports you to another dimension? A lot of genres in this. Yeah. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand. <laughs> you <slope laughs> weightlessly. Hold on, I gotta get the imagery of this. This is genuinely so stupid. This is, this is un <laughs> unbelievable. I love this. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim toward the light. I'll savor the moment. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as the... Oh, Jesus. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? That's a valid question. This feels Is like a fever dream. <laughs> Feels like a fever dream, yeah. right? As Nick attempts to I'm roll, I'm gonna have to frame. put in vacation time. Yeah. <laughs> you realize that, right? After tasting this food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. Well, you chose to approach him. Okay. I didn't have another choice. I mean, you chose it though. You're right. I could have just halt <laughs> yeah. F4, just shut it down. Wait, what is that? <laughs> Colonel. I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Very formal. I like it. Respectful. Anything for a fellow chef. Yeah, it's pronounced chef. Chef. <laughs> chef? Chef. Is that his name? Chef. Chef Goldblum is the actor, right? <laughs> what exactly was on that chicken? Oh, he's sweating. Oh, he missed. He was sweating, dude. How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that would make my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. I don't go to the staff. Where do you get that from? Heaven, I'd imagine. Deus ex machina. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. Um, what's the rush? The semester's only because it's a three-day semester. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two more whole days. <laughs> We've got two more days to get to know each other. He's clearly not going to give up easily. Give it up easily. Give what up easily. But it doesn't hurt to be persistent. The recipe. Yeah, you just keep going. You easy breezy, man. So many, so many things I want to easy say. Easy breezy. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Moxie is also a type of soda. Is it real? I didn't know that. Yeah, it tastes like licorice. Moxie Cola? Is that Moxie <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what it, You've got Moxie, so clean that up. Moxie. <laughs> uh, chat, uh, there, there was a conversation of who'd win in the fight between Colonel Sanders and Ronald McDonald. The consensus uh, seems to be Ronald McDonald, because Colonel Sanders is an old man and Ronald McDonald has a gang. And that led to the question, Dennis, would you go on a date with Ronald McDonald? Uh, somebody else replied that they would not. Uh, and somebody else said, I'd watch if Mayor McCheese can be the ref. I don't think that's in reference to your date. Do dates have refs? I haven't dated in a while. We have 26 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think, like, a one on one fight, if Colonel Sanders has this. If it's this chicken Colonel Sanders? Stick, yeah. I'm gonna go with Colonel Sanders, right? Yeah. And no, I would not go on a date with Ronald McDonald. Clowns are fucking scary. Clowns are scary. That's fair. No offense to anybody who might be. Clown, clown or clown adjacent. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, I apologize to your parents. Yeah, good people, man. They are. Well, she's good people. Yeah, I don't, I don't know their parents. Yeah. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use cocaine. It's something my great grandmother <laughs> taught me. This is a prequel to Cocaine Bear, the movie. <laughs> Can you click it, or is it just like a secret? I can't it's click it. My... Okay. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Well. <laughs> 
While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. Let's just go to the group. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Excellent. Sometimes, I think that's why I was thinking he was French, just because of this music. Doesn't that sound kind of like a... Uh, I don't know, we can't hear. You know that you're wearing a headset, right? <laughs> <laughs> We all hear the music, right? We all hear it! <clears throat> what do you mean, wake up? <laughs> it's, here, listen, it sounds very, like... What do you... Don't just light. Easy breezy. Chilling in the quad, drinking some hint water. I, I wouldn't say French. Okay. Because it sounds like music in games I play. And then like an anime that I've watched that is not associated with like French stuff. So I can see why you might say that, but I, I genuinely didn't say it. It sounds like the street performer the last time I was in Paris. Flex. You from the same neighborhood that Michael is or something? <laughs> <coughs> Sometimes I'd like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say that ah, this is a long game. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, are you gonna neg him? What does that mean? Alone together you for the first time. Him? You figure it out. You figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. This is a generational thing. Hold on one second. Okay. Chat might be aware of this, might not be aware of this. Uh, but somebody, Michael just asked, what does it mean to neg somebody? Oh god, I know that. But that was a thing from when we were younger, right? Yeah. I mean, like there was a whole play about this. It's, it's very different. It's, it's like if you either you were romantically interested in somebody and they were interested in you or you knew they were interested in you <laughs> it's so toxic and shitty being negative to them turning them down being mean to engage with them so like, like a way middle schoolers flirt with each other but adults did it yes and not as inflammatory as probably middle schoolers oh uh, yeah I've heard some very bad things but yeah no that's uh I mean, I, how, would you say it, it differently for negging? No, I mean, I think it was with the intention of now you're going to want to overcome. Yeah, it was to pull that negativity in. to want me more. Did you give me like an example? Just like I mean, teasing someone. Just like teasing someone and making them want to get your affection, being the goal. That doesn't always work. Okay. So kind of like what happens at a middle school, but for a different purpose. Well, for a similar purpose, but intentionally, whereas I think middle school just doesn't know how to understand their emotions or feelings and just lash out at everybody around them because they're demons. Um, so yeah, it was like a... You know, I mean, there are, there are things generationally right now that like people do in dating, but like, ghosting is an example of like, ghosting is associated with dating culture, and then it spread to other things, right? Negging was like an older version of that type of thing, essentially. Yeah. yeah. But I think the idea was, like, if you... If you outkick your coverage, you could nag that person to kind of bring them down a bit so that they'll see you ch see like, you and them on the same. Well, Do you know what outkick your coverage means? No. Okay. No, <clears throat> it's a, I believe it's a, a football game, football term of like the defense coverage or like the turn of uh, punt and then you kick over them and you outkick them. Gotcha. And so like, Punching above your weight. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Well, you know, it's a very educational dating sim. Well, we're at a school. We're double at a school. We're at a school in a school. I don't know if I should be talking about much about nagging because I was never very good at dating. So. That might mean you got nagged a lot, so maybe you're an expert. <laughs> okay. Hearts blew out of his butt. That's a good thing, right? Was that his butt? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You're he correct. Tooted. You're correct. Yeah. We'd love to. Now you've got his attention. <laughs> the flavors were complex, but comforting. <laughs> I had really bad heartburn, so those flavors just really comforted me. <laughs> the interplay between salty, savory, and peppery. It was perfect. I do know one of the herbs and spices that, make, that makes his chicken stand out is white pepper. There you go. 
That is used a lot in English cuisine, like in the roasts and stuff. I appreciate the compliment, Dennis. I'm sure you'll be a big success. <clears throat> I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. I was talking about your cooking. <laughs> a little aggressive there, you, Colonel. Uh, chat's telling you, Dennis, I think Colonel Sanders likes you. Ooh. Chat's also on some weird Teletubby and Garfield stuff that I'm not going to repeat to you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll just read one line. Smash or pass the red Teletubby. <laughs> We'll keep it moving up. Well, don't think about it. Don't think about it. Play the game. Play the game, please. Red is the color of love. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson... Is this where the battle takes place? Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. I think we're building up to something, so we should skip. Just so you're better prepared for the conversation. Stuff. Oh, we're just doing the individual one. Never mind, never mind. Oh, he's back. Hey. I'm a job. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. Does he have to wear, like, a body net? Oh, true. Oh, why is, why is cooking? Yeah. yeah, yeah, probably. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. <laughs> You're I didn't even get an option this time! <laughs> Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. That actually sounds like something my dumbass would have said if I was trying to, like, <laughs> court someone. <laughs> Want to be my partner? Oh, sure, Dennis. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is, is left standing all alone. Go we with Van Van the Man Man. Nah, it's going to be uh, Piano Fingers or whatever his name was. Or Pop Bob. Was that his name? But no, that was a Bob was a vampire. Kid. That's just the student. Yeah. yeah. Two different students quickly take notice. Pop. Hello, new partner. <laughs> and the, the <laughs> casual <laughs> robot. <laughs> uh, it was like the David Bowie robot with his dilated eye. Hello, new partner. Hey, boops. Hmm. Oh my, two potential partners? I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. I think she's in danger either way. I'm not in danger with the robot, but I worry about the vampire. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner, Clank? This guy creeps me out. What is that face Clank's making right now? <laughs> Fish face? Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay, I already ate. What? That so, sounds sinister. It's so dumb. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school is, <laughs> even at this juncture. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. <laughs> what is he heating up? Warp, warp, warp. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Chat's pointed this out, but I'm loving the JoJo poses by like just about everybody from an anime. Very ridiculous, <laughs> over-stylized poses. Okay. Like, high school perform acting performance poses? Like, the overly dramatic? Kind of, but also more than that. <laughs> okay. That Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. Psst. Tissue? I hardly know you. <laughs> Clank <That> judders. <laughs> judders? Judders? What is that? Judders mean? isn't a word. <laughs> And a panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of depression. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what is happening? Oh. Looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Well, if my goal is to get with Colonel Sanders, mashed potatoes and gravy pair well with his chicken. That is true. Ah! 
Ah, I got some more butt, butt hearts. <laughs> I've uh, always chat, been... chat is saying you need more drip. Oh, I don't know what that means. <clears throat> so, um, drip is style when it comes to clothing. Personally, or the character? Like, I haven't seen me on I this. I think they're saying you in the game. So, like, your choices in the game. But somebody came to your defense. So Dennis needs more drip than the follow-up. That vest is the only drip Dennis needs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Michael Gatton watching this? <laughs> Finally. Nailed it. And Michael wasn't mansplaining Sarah. Dennis didn't know what it was. So he was just he was explaining. Explaining. Yeah. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. <gasps> and gravy? <laughs> no, just mashed potatoes. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Uh, this is fucking weird. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. Chat said, mansplain, manipulate, male wife. I don't even know what that means. I, that... <laughs> I'll go get the potatoes. Oh, God. I miss Marissa. She's so funny to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, please. Let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. The alliterations that are a passion crazy. of mine. That was yeah. crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I, I see. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Fuck off. Sanders' heart is my business. And Did you better keep that? your fingers off no. my... No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Did someone call for me? God, this guy's the worst. What's with the music? What is this? You're not a fan fan of the Van Van? No. Ugh, no G's, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Dennis's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Colonel Sanders returns. Arms full. It's so bad. Arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friend. The in game music? Yeah. He got real loud when he banned it. Did it go back down or just go I turned it. It stays loud. But it sounds like a battle scene of Final Fantasy or something. Like yeah, exactly. Oh, howdy there, Ashley. Ban Ban. Are we working on a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no, it looked like Dennis was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentors. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ah, <laughs> doubt it. <gasps> Don't be rude, Van Van. <laughs> Did you say, you believe the same <laughs> I know, so I know we only have you for 30 more minutes. Let's has it already been an hour? It really has. Has it not felt like that? <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, I want to see so if we can easy. skip it to get you like another. I, I want to just kind of talk for a little bit too before you guys go. Yeah. I want to see some spicy food. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, Get out. Don't even read these. Yeah. And just keep looking at these little rocks. Ooh. I thought it would be sooner. <laughs> what? What is happening? I'm not reading any other stuff. Yeah, it kills him? You killed a student? <laughs> uh, I did? Okay, this is college. They don't have bell, class bells. And just, okay. Do they hear all the clicking? No. Well, they might be able to, but I doubt they will. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. What the? We'll play this game this weekend. That just that looks like something from Rick and Morty. Yeah. Mashed potato Rick! It's the time, uh, time to do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sport. Sport. 
super monster. Oh, oh yes! yes! I was go! hoping the fight would happen. Oh, this oh, is like old go. school. So, so, yes. okay. Sanders would kick the shit out of Ron McDonald. Too close to home. This is KFC, not Golden Chick. Hey, Jackie, thank you for joining the chat. Damn, dude. Try going forward. Oh. Help me get home. I might have to go. <laughs> I think I'm doing alright at this game. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sprinkles is all <laughs> Sprinkle style. Dreams are weird. <laughs> what the shit is actually happening? Oh, oh my. Is, oh no. Wait, what happens? Is, is the popcorn thing, or the, the chicken thing in the top left corner the menu, or is that something else? I have no idea. Oh. Okay. He's oh. He's <laughs> doing, I guess. You, that, if you can load something, that means you can save something. I think it's saving. It might be auto saving. Yeah. <coughs> it's not about you today, Miriam! Is this what sex is like? <laughs> Who said that? Kelvin. <laughs> you sprinkle some herbs and spice around, then a stork? This one said yes. Yeah. You sprinkle some herbs and spice around, then a stork. I love it. Uh, all caps, not in my Christian Minecraft server. Oh yeah, look at that APM. Oh, uh -oh. No, what did I pick? No. I had my mouse in the wrong place. Oh, she asked, she asked for the ingredient, and then you gave him, you gave her a different, a fake ingredient. Name okay, good. That would have been my choice. Yeah. I'm not gonna mess things up with Colonel Sanders. I am new. <laughs> Stand back. Oh. And this is negative. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's on a horse! Classic Colonel Sanders horse. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. Oh. <gasps> 
Garfield Lover 69 asks, can you make me a sandwich dinner? Uh, sure, what kind of sandwich would you like? Only if it's a lasagna sandwich, somebody said. <laughs> <laughs> Shows poorly. <laughs> game over. <laughs> There's a game That's over. Not as damn thing. You lost this game. Uh. I never knew you can lose a dating sim. Someone asked if you're invited. Uh, if they are invited to your KFC wedding. Well, not anymore. Sprinkles just ended Dennis. A gravy <laughs> fountain. Somebody asked where, where's the donate button. I'm gonna try the best. Answer that. The donate button. Well, um, you could also. That is not a game. Anymore. You know, I agree. With a donate button, we do not have a donate button. We have uh, you can donate tickets, or you can get the stuff, or stuff. You can Subs? Yeah. It's up to you. That's crazy. Mm. Um, a couple Warm things in chat. Warm not any better. Yo, no, it's uh, worse. Significantly worse. Of course, the man that killed the Hint sponsorship would be able to lose a KFC marketing game. <laughs> also, Kelvin is spouting lies. He said petition to get Eugene to stop blowing up the bathroom in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you swap it? The, yep. Wow. That was about what I expected, to be fair. The same. That was both what I expected, and I didn't know what the hell was going to be happening. Oh, you're, you're fine right there. You're fine right there. Ah, uh, Cindy was rooting for you. Thank you, Cindy. I wasn't. <laughs> so, uh, talk to us about your experience playing the game. How was that? Awkward, but funny. Talk to us, not me. Awkward, but funny. Okay. Uh, that's not a video game I would ever play. Yeah. Thank you, Jackie, for the eighteen hundred bits. My goodness, let's go. Really oh appreciate that. She is now our number one bid donor. Jackie's another incredible person. Uh, she she runs a program up in Minnesota, Mankato, I believe. Hope I didn't say that wrong. Um, but Very she's cool. awesome. She's really really cool. Thanks um, for tuning in, Jackie. Is that is it tuning in? Is that the yeah, yeah, phrase yeah, that we yeah. use? That could be acceptable. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 